Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. Certainly one of the more interesting charts at the moment has followed here the overall count quite well. We did have two large entry points here. They were both very successful, even though the last one we really only dipped our toes into. Yeah, So that's where it comes really into play that setting limit orders, buy limit orders is so important when scaling into these support areas. Yeah, it's not always guaranteed that they all get filled, but that's also not a problem, um, you know, as long as um, it works out profitable, okay? So let's just align, get, get aligned on where we are here. Um, there are two scenarios I'm looking at. They actually both point at the moment in, into the same direction, as long as we're holding critical support levels. So in the first scenario, we moved up off the June low in a leading diagonal in a wave one. We came down in a wave two and that bottomed here around $47 back in November. And since then we have moved up in basically this, you could call it this green wave three. Yeah? You have the wave one, the wave two, and we'd now be in the wave three. Within the wave three, we have had a one two setup and which could which could mean we are now rallying or going to rally in a third wave of way of the third wave so really bullish and there should be a fourth and a fifth i'm watching that um because it would mean we are already directly in the third wave and we should it should really break out shortly okay um what and that's that's one scenario a target for that you could say pink wave three should be the 120 US dollar level. Yeah, it's actually a bit too high here, but um, $120 at least for the wave three here in pink, the 1.618 extension. I've got it higher because we've got a possibility of having another one two set up here that I want to talk about. But this is sort of broadly um, the idea, quite a bullish count actually. Of course, the condition is that we're holding certain critical support levels that I'm going to mention in this video. Now, the um, other scenario, which is, let's say, short term, not so bullish, but generally you could also consider it as being quite bullish. It's just that we have um, yeah, a slightly different setup here. So um, basically that we have, if we look at the lower level wave count we also have a one two set up here a one two and that we would now within the wave three yes have another one two setup so if we break down from here my first view would be that we create another one two setup which would eventually also be bullish but short term it could provide another entry point for anybody who missed the previous entry points okay um, the reason is that we could have a five wave move up complete here in the short term so um, if I'm zooming in, in the imminent, in the imminent bullish scenario where we should just rally through, it should really rally now, yeah. And we need to break above the previous high at 98.35, and then I think we have a good breakout, and that could send us way higher, over hundred dollars. But always bear in mind the one hundred dollar level will be critical resistance as well. The one that I actually think is a bit more likely is that we get another one two setup, that we get a few setbacks here. Um, the reason is it's getting quite choppy. And my view would be that off this low in December, we actually had this one two setup, a wave three. This was a triangle, a bit, bit of a weird, but Elliott wave triangle here that bottomed, I think we talked about that in the last video anyway, which bottomed here in a wave four on the 27th of Jan. So Elliott wave triangle, yeah, let me just show you that basically here, yeah. And that we now, re uh, that we we possibly, given the latest price action that we had here, I have to assume that this wave five of one was already in. Yeah. So that we had the wave one in um, like that, and that we are now in this wave two already. So I'd be prepared for a possible sell-off and additional entry point. And um, at the moment, let's see, can we actually, first of all, let me label the correction. So we'd say we had quite an impulsive sell-off. So this looks like an A wave of two. 
this at the moment looks like a three-way structure. Just thinking A wave and then probably up here A, B, C could be finished. And then the, let me just, just need to um, look at this. Get on this. Yeah, okay. So I think that's possible as an A wave. B wave up. Very clear corrective structure actually. And we could now be moving down in the C wave. The latest price action would, I don't want to say confirm it, but gives us a clue. We even broke below that trend line. So the possible setup here of, you know, a C wave of two. What would be um, a key target here based on FIB retracement? So if we say this five wave move of this low in December, one, two, three, four, five, very nice. Um, what would be a possible new entry point for a wave two? Well, looking at the FIB retracements, we're looking again at the area between the 50% and the 78.6 retrace. So we're looking ideally at the area between 68.99 and 79.47, you know, plus minus a few cents depending on the exchange. Um, and that would be an ideal target here. Looking at um, targets by calculating or taking the length of the A wave, going to the high of the B wave, this actually suggests we should find some support earlier yeah, um, so what I'm thinking, if we now come, I mean, what I cannot rule out is that what we're doing here, this ABC might just be the A wave of the wave two. Yeah, so this could become something complex. Um, saying that most retracements that we've seen for Litecoin were quite shallow. So I wouldn't be surprised to see an initial reaction to the 38.2 FIB level at 83.80, yeah. Be aware of that. Reason is this is also a relevant FIB level for wave two. It would be a shallow one. I would expect some kind of a reaction to it. And if we really take the targets here, taking the length of the A wave, compare it to the length of the C wave, the first target that in my opinion would make sense. I mean, the one-to-one -one ratio is hitting the 23.6 FIB. I don't think there's a point in entering there because it's just too risky from my point of view. But an ideal target here would be the 8320 level, roughly the 1.618 extension, very close to the 38.2 FIB at 8380. So there is going to be some significant support sort of in that region here. Yeah. So I'm going to highlight this here as a support area, possible short term entry point if you want to, you know, speculate for a, for a reversal from there, at least temporary. But eventually it should ideally, the wave two should ideally go into this area. So again, what could happen is that all of this what I've just shown you is an A wave. We move up in B and then come down in C. This is absolutely possible because it would otherwise be a very shallow wave two. Yeah, and that is where we are, you know, and if we don't even get down there, then we're probably in this third wave. So um, in this directly direct breakout scenario, which I can't necessarily see at the moment, but it's possible. And I have to tell you that um, for me, this year becomes only a good trade setup if we really get down into these regions. Okay, that's my update about Litecoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.